Welcome. What I'd like to do is show you how to go ahead and solve for uh, x of this literal equation. Now again, remember when we're dealing with literal equation, we're going to have our answer is going to be in terms of y. Therefore, we're going to have a y in our answer. But again, what we want to do is we want to isolate the variable. And to isolate the variable, um, what we need to do is obviously get the variable on the same side. And then we want to undo all the processes that are happening to the variable. And whenever I see fractions, I always want to undo that process first. So you can see that here this x is being divided by 5. Here, this x is being divided by 6. So I want to undo that. So the important thing, if I want to undo divided by 6, I'm going to have to multiply by 6. But remember, since we have an equation, we have to apply the property of equality. If I'm going to multiply 6 on the right side, I have to multiply by 6 on the left side. And then here, this x is being divided by 5. So I need to multiply by 5 to undo that division. But then I need to divide by 5 over here. And pretty much what you guys can see is I have now just multiplied both sides of my equation by what we call the LCD, which is the least common denominator of 5 and 6, which in this case is equal to 30. Now what's nice, though, about writing it as 5 times 6 instead of 30 is you can see that the 5's divide out, because that's why we did them, and the 6's divide out into 1. Therefore, now all I need to do is make sure you put parentheses around here, because you have to apply the distributive property. So now um, I do not have any fractions. So I'm actually going to rewrite this. And it doesn't matter if, you're, if your number's in front or after your parentheses. You still need to apply the distributive property, which is telling you you're going to multiply that term times both these terms. So 6 times 3x is 18x plus 12y equals 20x minus 35y. Now, now you can see I have the fraction, so it's like whoosh. Now all I need to do is get my variables to the same side. And I can get them to the left or I can get them to the right. It doesn't really matter. Um, I usually always like to keep a positive variable. So therefore, I'm going to subtract 18 on both sides. Therefore, this will be a positive 2x. If you subtract a 20 on both sides, your x will be over here, but then it's negative. So I don't like dealing with solving for negatives. Um, I always like to solve for the positive. So I'm just going to solve for x on the right-hand side. So to undo the 18x, I'm going to subtract 18x on both sides. That is going to now subtract the uh, 0. So I have 12y equals 20x minus 18x is 2x minus 35y. Now again, remember, we cannot solve for, or we cannot subtract the 18x from the negative 35y. We can only do it to its like terms. Now, I, I only have one variable. So I combine my variables to one side. Now I only have one variable, so I need to use my inverse operations. So I look at my variable and say, all right, what is happening to my variable? You can see that's being multiplied by 2 and then being subtracted by 35y. So we always use our inverse operations. So the first thing I'm going to undo, our reverse order of operations, is I'm going to undo the, addition, or the subtraction of 35y by adding 35y. And you can see that these two are like terms, so I can combine them. And that's going to give me 47y equals 2x. Now, just to isolate x, I need to undo multiplication. So I'll divide by 2. And therefore, x, I'll just rewrite this, x equals 47 halves times y. And that is going to be your final answer. Thanks.